Hi, and welcome back. So it's the end of September, which means that for my family, we are entering basically the hardest part of the year. Um, every, everybody has their anniversaries, you know, birthdays, special dates that they remember with their sibling. And for us, Jonathan has three in a row. October 17th is his birthday. November 15th is his angel -versary. It's the day that he passed away. And then we have December 13th, which is the date of his accident. And so this is kind of the time of year where you know, it's already the holidays, which makes it hard, but then having those three dates to deal with as well means that it's a hard time of year. Um, this is the time of year when I feel more depressed and just kind of retreat a little bit from the world, I guess you could say, and spend more family time and just kind of hang out together and stick close and it's the time when we really value our family even more than normal so this is tends to be a hard time of year for me personally and for my family and so I tend to kind of be more focused on just being at home and you know being with my family and surrounding ourselves you know with things that bring us comfort and that we enjoy doing and you know it's not a time where I really enjoy being out about you know, going to parties and being social, it's hard, you know. And for a while I felt guilty that I was, you know, kind of separating myself from my, uh, my friends and other people a lot during this time but I realized it's normal it it's a normal reaction um, sorry there was a squirrel it's a normal thing to you know a normal way to handle it um, everybody will feel differently um, everyone does different things for us we like to just stay home and watch movies and you know just be together as a family but uh, then we also do other things like to remember my brother to honor his memory um, this is the time where a lot of times we'll um, a lot of times we go and buy cat food dog food treats toys and stuff and go to our local shelter and donate them in memory of him. Um, he loved animals. He, you know, especially dogs. And so we like to do that in his memory. It's something he enjoyed doing, so now we do it for him. And that's one way that we kind of, you know, remember him at this time of year. But um, I think I talked about it a little bit last time, but for most of Jonathan's life, I would get him little surprises leading up to his birthday. And every day I would put in a little bag with the 
the number of the day. And um, so it would be 1 through 17. And since he's passed away, I've done it a few times where I've posted pictures of him every day leading up to his birthday and told stories that went with the pictures. Or I have um, done different things each day that reminded me of him or things that he enjoyed doing. I did, you know, one each day, one year. And it's always been fun um, to kind of remember him and, you know, continue that tradition. And so I'm gonna give it a try this year. Since I'm doing YouTube, I decided I will attempt to do some kind of video every day October 1st through 17th and we'll see how it goes I don't know I've never never done a daily video so we'll try it and see see how it goes and so hopefully you'll come along and experience this year's I don't even know what to call it um, birthday countdown <laughs> uh, so that's about it for today um, really just wanted to talk a little bit about you know how leading up to these next three months is hard and you can give this a thumbs up if you'd like uh, and please comment down below if you have any suggestions for videos for the birthday countdown and please subscribe and hit the notification bell see you next time Bye.